Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know, this channel is best for ICSC class 9 and 10 students. Here I am discussing about uh, videos of physics strictly based on ICSC curriculum. So, today our topic of discussion is numerical problem based on relationship between different term used in current and efficient use of energy. Let's start a video current electricity part 2. So in part 1 we got some term like current, potential difference, resistance and what are the definition of this all? how they all are related to each other. So that relation, how we can use in a numerical problem, we are going to discuss today. So first one, if we look in numerical problem, is first number near you, is a charge of 2.8 coulomb passes through a cross section of conductor in seven second, find current. It will go to my first video. In that, you will get one relation I equal to Q by T, current equal to charge by time. So here, to solve a numerical problem, the process is, first line will write the data given. Second line will come with the formula and third is the calculation of fourth will get the answer. So here, first let to come to the data given. In the solution, first part it is given to us the data. That data will get Q. Q is the charge. T is the time. And Q is the charge. T is the time. And I current will to find. So we got now three parts. One, Q, the charge given to us, second, time, seven second given to us, and we have to find the or current. So, I equal to Q by T, this one the formula part. This I equal to Q by T is the formula part. Now, Q is 2.8, time is seven seconds. So, 2.8 by seven, this is our calculation. 2.8 by seven equal to 0 0.4 and ampere, this this one is the unit for current SI unit of current is ampere. So we can solve this problem by taking all this necessary step. Next, if we'll come to the next example here, a current of 19.5 ampere flows through a conductor for 1.5 second. What amount of charge passes through the conductor? Means here it is given to us first thing. It is given to us the 19.5 ampere. 19.5 ampere is current. And next thing given to us, 1.5 second. Second is the SI unit for time. So here we got two term. One is current and second is time. We have to find the amount of charge passes through the conductor. That means we have to find Q. So when you come to our solution part, in solution you will look here, first thing given to us I, 19.5 ampere, T time, 1.5 second, Q charge you have to find out. So we will come to the formula now, same I equal to Q by T, where Q equal to, if I equal to Q by T, then Q equal to what you will get? Q equal to I into T and I it is given to us 19.5 T it is given to us 1.5 so answer will get as 29.5 here it is the charge coulomb C capital C is the unit for coulomb so Q equal to I T or 19.5 into 1.5 equal to 29.25 coulomb. So here is a relationship between charge, current, and time. So 
when will come to the numerical problem in numerical problem as i told unit is important because icsc uh, for checking time they are strictly looking to the formula part and the unit part if unit is missing in any number then there is a negative marking for that and if formula is missing then also one mark they will deduct from the uh, total of the numerical problem so now we come to another type of number here in this we will get some other type in this we will uh, use some different formula here you can see one more number what amount of work is needed in moving 250 coulomb charge through a potential difference of 12 volt here which formula will use potential difference if you look my first video in that you will get potential difference. potential difference equal to work done by charge or we can say v equal to w by q that formula we are going to use here the data given part for us first thing it is given to us 250 coulomb coulomb is the si unit for charge 12 volt volt is the si unit of potential difference what you have to find you have to find the amount of work so solve this numerical problem now first thing we have to write data given first thing what you have written here q charge 250 coulomb v 12 volt how much the work in w so which formula i use v equal to w by q so v equal to w by q or you can see here v equal to w by q means to solve this number we are using the formula now w equal to v q because V equal to W by Q, W equal to V into Q. V is 12 volt, Q is 250. So 250 into 12, 3000 and Joule. This part is the SI unit for our work done because work done and energy both are having the SI unit, Joule. So this is the solution. Another number you look. A bulb draws a current of 2.5 ampere at 10 volt. Find the resistance of the bulb while glowing. Means it is given to us. First thing it is given to us 2.5 ampere is the current. 10 volt is the potential difference. So here we will come to the relationship between potential difference, current, and resistance. That one will get in Ohm's law. George Simon Ohm. That one also in my first video. So, to solve this number, we have to use the relationship between current, potential difference and resistance. So, when we come to the solution part, first part, first line is our data given part. I, current 2.5 ampere, V volt, or potential difference voltage 10 volt, R resistance. So, how we can solve this number? Now, we will come to the relation R equal to V by I that on Ohm's law. So 10 by 2.5 or 4 and here you can see the unit Ohm, ohm. This is the unit for your resistance. So R equal to V by I 10 by 2.5 or 4 Ohm. Another one example if we look. We will get another example here look. A current of 1.8 ampere flows in a wave of resistance 18 ohm find potential difference. So data, what are the data given to us? So data given to us if we want to calculate, want to know about the data given part, then first thing it is given to us 1.8 ampere which is the current and 18 ohm which is the resistance so one is current given to us resistance given to us what you have to find out that we have to find this potential difference so which formula will use v by i equal to 
R. E by I equal to R if we take, then you can see here the data given part, this part. So data given. Which formula will use now? V equal to R equal to V by I. That means V equal to I into R or I R. So here I is 1.8. R is 18 so answer will get 32.4 and here you can see the unit of potential difference volt that means every number if you look one is a given part second is our formula part third is our calculation part and fourth is the answer with unit because a numerical problem must have a unit without unit that number is not complete so different type of numerical we got with the relation what we got in our first video like first one we got i equal to q by t second we got uh, v equal to uh, w by q third we got here v equal, by i equal to r so by using this all we can do different type of number we can solve different type of numerical so here are some example of different type of numerical so you can practice by using this all as a reference. Next one, it will come to the different appliance used in our domestic circuit. So first one, symbol and function of various electrical components means in a circuit, circuit means a closed path where current will able to flow from the source to the receiver close continuous path for the current so symbol and for function of various electrical components in that circuit what are the different components used and what are the function what is the work of that particular appliance that we are going to read here first one if we look key key is simply the switch switch means switch is actually used to open what is switch? Switch is a device which is used to open or close a circuit. It means to on or off the circuit we are using this key. Different type of key is a tap key, uh, switch. So in that key only one function that it can keep the current or it can stop the flow of current. Next one, if we look galvanometer. Galvanometer actually used to detect the very weak current means in a circuit current is flowing or not that one we can detect by using galvanometer and another function we can say the direction of current from which side to which side current is flowing we will able to detect of a where by using galvanometer and galvanometer having the symbol you can see here G this is the symbol for galvanometer next one is the emitter what we got in our first video also emitter is used to know about the magnitude of current in a circuit how much amount of current is flowing through the circuit that one we can get by using this emitter next one is the voltmeter to know the potential difference between any two given point in the circuit we will able to know by using voltmeter so when we will come to their symbols then here you can see uh, here you can see different um, symbol for different type of switch and here you can see voltmeter, emitter and galvanometer this one. So this one for symbol of voltmeter, emitter and galvanometer and here you can see different type of switch used in a circuit and when we are using all these uh, symbols to show a simple circuit it is called circuit diagram so in a circuit diagram we are using different variety of symbol here you can see different type of symbol for cell circuit we are having one for dc source for ac source for solar cell push switch single pole switch lamp lighting lamp means the bulb here you can see voltmeter, emitter, ohmmeter. Ohmmeter is a multimeter which is uh, which can measure both potential difference and current at the same time. Another one you can see at the last, the rheostat. 
Rheostat is mainly used in the lab. Rheostat may work to change the resistance of a circuit. And whenever we are taking in lab uh, verification of Ohm's law, most of the time we are using this rheostat to change the resistance. So in an electrical component, in an electrical circuit, if you want to change the uh, resistance, that time we are taking the help of this rheostat. By using this all, when we show a circuit that is called a circuit diagram. So in circuit diagram, we'll get symbol of all these components. So here, simple circuit diagram means when a circuit uh, is shown, when we'll show a circuit or when we'll draw a circuit by using that symbol of different component, that's what we can say a simple electric circuit or simple circuit diagram. So here, you can see a circuit diagram. First one, this part is the cell. One side means this part for one cell, this one for another cell means the combination of two cells. Here you can see the emitter in series means in one line. Second thing is the R. R is the register. Register means any appliance which offer resistance is called register. Any appliance which offer resistance is called register. And this is a register. In register, we can take TV as the register, we can take bulk as the register, we can take fan as the register, we can take anything, any electrical component, uh, electrical appliance as a register. And here you can see the voltmeter. Voltmeter, which is used to measure the potential difference, is connect parallel. This is the electric uh, wire, and we have connected here the voltmeter. That means both are parallel to each other. This is called parallel connection, and emitter is the series connection, means in one line. Next one. It will come to a electric circuit, uh, electric circuit diagram. In that emitter is used. In that key, cell, bulb, voltmeter, and resistor. All this is the circuit diagram of a simple electric circuit. So, in the circuit diagram, we are using symbol of different type of electrical components. Now. Is the time now it is the time to know more about this current and we got different aspects of current we got different numerical problem based on the current we got some electrical component we got a circuit diagram now the time to know about the efficient use of energy this energy the ability to do the work, the capacity of doing work, that is energy. Different type of energy we are having. So, efficient use means what? Whenever we are using the energy, by limited use of energy, how we can do more work? That is, here one term came efficient. It comes from efficiency. What is efficiency? Work output energy output by energy input or work output by work input or power output by power input is the efficiency. Efficient use of energy. When we are taking the term efficient use, what does that mean? To reduce the cost and amount of energy used to provide various products and services. Means when we are using this energy, we have to reduce the cost first. Means we have to Make energy efficient machine will take amount of energy less where the cost is less and we'll able to do some more work. So that efficient that is the efficient use of energy it means by efficient use of energy. What is our advantage? So people come to the advantage of using energy efficient machine means rating, car rating. Some are 4 star, some are 5 star, some are 2 star. Why to use 5 star machines? Why to use energy efficient machines? In this, people come to their advantages. First one, reduce the cost of energy. Means electric bill, electric appliance, one will, electric bill will come very, very less. It reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. Means it is good for our environment. 
because of greenhouse effect, the global warming, different type of uh, environmental hazards we are getting. So for that, it is helpful for us. So what we can do to reduce the cost of energy, to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases? If we are taking the domestic circuit, means in our home, it will make that type of a building which is properly insulated. So daytime will get the sunlight easily. So there is no need to use the artificial bulb, which reduce the electric energy. Second one, in place of normal fluorescent lamp, in normal uh, bulb, electric bulb, which is giving yellowish type light, we can use LED, what we are using nowadays. We'll use five star electrical appliance, which will reduce the cost of electric bill. We can use CFL. Uh, before we are using 100 watt, 200 watt bulb. Now we are using some 9 watt, 40 watt, 15 watt bulb. Means what if the power difference, the power difference will give a difference in energy consumption. Next one. Whenever we are having uh, a building, building should have windows, skylights, so easily the light can come to our building, to our home, so that natural air will get first thing, natural light will get the second thing, and third thing, it will reduce the cost. So, we can save some more energy for the future generation. And efficient use of energy or energy efficient vehicles it will use, so it will reduce the uh, fuel consumption, it will reduce the weight of the vehicle. So fuel efficiency means by taking less fuel, we can uh, go larger distance. Means its mileage will increase. It will reduce the cost of energy. It will reduce the consumption of energy, main thing. So for this, we have to uh, take personally some initiative and some tertiary initiatives. Personal initiative one, our one, we can open the window in the daytime or we'll uh, switch off uh, electrical appliances which are not in use in place of bulb, we can use LED or CFL. But social initiative, what are the social initiatives? Socially, what we can take or how we can uh, aware the people that about energy efficiency or energy efficient machines. First one, if you look here, the effort to develop efficient machine energy efficient machines energy efficient machines it will use more so it will reduce the cost the technology which can reduce the energy expenditure means it will consume less amount of energy to keep more outcome create awareness among the people people look nowadays it is coming in tv uh, advertisement also government of india is taking or giving the awareness program to so uh, the people to ever the people to uh, say the people of India to save energy, save energy, save life. Non governmental organizations, NGOs, has to take initiative for the awareness of sensitive use of energy resources because energy crisis means crisis means what? When the consumption is more, when the consumer is more, but the production is less, that uh, condition is the crisis. If the energy will not keep sufficient amount in future generation, we may get energy crisis. For that, we have to use energy efficiently. For that, uh, different companies has to bring some products which are energy efficient. At the same time, we have to also take some steps to save the energy. This is all about current electricity. In my first video, people uh, go to my first video, you will see different aspects of current. And here we have discussed some numerical problem and some aspects of an efficient use of energy. So this is all about your current electricity. Thank you. Thank you very much.